there's some there's something there's something else about you that is that is um, has never been traumatized. The thing that was uh, moving through me as I came to meet you today was how we are so, and, and I'm not talking about you and not me, I'm talking about humans, you know, like we come into this world and we have to find a way to uh, operate within this dangerous world. You know, we, we, we're interested in staying safe. We're interested in having our protection mechanisms. We're interested in making sure that we're going to be okay. You know, that's the ego has to develop that way. It, it has to, it's a healthy process, right? But somewhere along the line, a distortion happens and it becomes dysfunctional, right? So mostly hu humans who are, who are not awake outside of that, um program that m memory person the person that is an accumulation of memory and experience and conditioned program and the way to view the world through that then mostly you know unless we wake up out of that and we are able to see through that and we're able to come into a meeting with the other seeing through all of that and meeting outside of that Otherwise, we are absolutely, the moment we come to meet the other, we are carrying the whole of the past into the moment, into this moment. Nobody can blame that, you know. It's, it's, it's just what happens. So then we'll come to meet and we're meeting whoever we're meeting with all of that and there's no space to truly meet because we are already like deciding so much about what's possible what's not possible what's happening what's not happening there is such a defense already there there's already it's like the ego but i don't mean the ego in a in a bad way okay i mean just that 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 is comes with this body mind and is here to take care of you know it already has um based on past experience now it now it has a belief about how the future is going to be based on that on that so we come to meet a person and if we know that person from before everything we know about them from before is what we come to meet and somehow it's like the the personality self the egoic self feels safe in that because at least now they know that that person is like this and so now they can keep it but there's no space for meeting in that there's no space for being able to meet And so mostly what, what carries out is the same pattern of how we've met them before, because there's no other possibility. We've already got it decided. We've already believed it into existence. So there's no, and it's so difficult because I, you know, I, I, I tried that myself, you know, I tried in relationships, I tried to, you know, when those kind of relationships where you split up and you get back together and you split up and you get back together and you try to, you want to, you want to like give it another go, but without carrying the past, but unless there's really a true meeting where you yourself can see through all of your uh, belief and projections into the moment and see through it and not be run by it. That's very difficult, right? 
and uh, that's truly what it means to live awake is you know it's it's not that all of that stuff will not be there and will not arise and will not the habit of that dominate the situation but it's having the choice to see and to see and be available outside of that and that takes a while it doesn't happen you know it doesn't happen i mean look if we go to meet our parents after seeing our parent and not seeing our parents for a long time and we go to meet them normally what happens straight away is that dynamic we've got going on with the parent is straight away in action you know and, and it, it happened to me i'm not saying it didn't happen i, I went back and lived you know, took care of my father after 27 years away and those dynamics. And it's just like, wow. However, I can say that, you know, I was fortunate enough to see not only through all my, all that was appearing in my own thing, but to see through all that was appearing in his thing too. And to be able to like, meet that sparkle in the eye that original nature and love it love it beyond all conditions to 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 not love it from the little girl but including the little girl but love is our nature right and all is forgiven, all is, uh, all the stories drop. So all of the stories that might have happened in our childhood or what happened to me when I was this age, that and that and that happened and that makes why I'm like this today and I can't do nothing about it because I need to fix that thing. You can't fix that thing. You can do all the healing you want and I'm, maybe you have. What did change in that, in that level? There can be some changes happening. There can be some changes can happen, some maturity. You go back, you feel it, you go da, 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 da. But you can't erase that. You can erase it for a moment, momentarily, but it will reappear. It is the shift away from that to who you really are. There's some, there's something, there's something else about you that is, that is, um, has never been traumatized. Mm -hmm.